Hey, what's up and welcome to a new game of Civ 4. We're going to be doing a, another DD Fractal today and we're going to play Suleiman. He's a great leader. We just had, um, yeah, some unfortunate circumstances recently. Let's give him another go. Philosophical and imperialistic. Yeah, so you get the faster great people, the GP universities, that's really actually very powerful. Um, you get great people every game, and yeah, this will just give you more, essentially. Imperialistic, well, I don't rate this trait too highly, but with philosophical, I think it's really good. There's a few leaders that have imperialistic that are actually really good, then there's a few that have it that aren't very good at all. So it kind of depends on what you've got going, but we have good starting techs and we've got philosophical, so imperialistic is like pretty good for this guy. The Janissary, a musketman with tons of bonuses. I think this is a really, really strong unit because it's basically has odds against everything in the medieval era and can only really be bothered by grenadiers and cuirassiers, which come much later. And if you pair these guys with cannons, well, you're pretty unstoppable. So, quite a strong unit. And even with trebuchets, like, if you're fighting medieval units, they can't really stop you. Her mum is an aqueduct with plus two happiness. Now, it still costs 100 hammers, so if you're just building it for the happiness, I don't think it's that great. There's better buildings you can build for that, maybe like a forge with golden gems or something. Uh, but still a good building, and definitely something you want in your bigger cities for the health as well. Okay, well that's a lot of food. Um, hmm. Interesting. Do I want the Plains Hill Saddle? If I do that, I'm going to have like no hills to work. Um, wow, that's a lot of food. Okay. I want to share the food. I can go here. I can go here. And I can go here. So I think in place is fine. By moving one to the right, I lose... I don't know, I kind of put myself closer to the edge, and that's not really what you want. I stay right here. I don't like losing all my hills as well. Okay, we skip animal husbandry. I think we just do the agriculture bronze working thing, and then maybe go fishing after that. The worker will take 15, it will take about 27 turns to farm, which gives me enough time to get mining into bronze working, and then I will have double food and I can chop, and we should be with imperialistic expanding pretty fast. Now, we're not going to get a huge amount of value from imperialistic, but, you know, we can grow to size 4 with our double food and work the forest, the forest hills and pick up an extra 3 hammers. And then, of course, the chops will be significantly better. Yeah, moving one to the right, dude. I kill the forest. I lose four forests. Doesn't seem that strong of a play. I've, I'm okay here, I think. Now we have to worry about the barbs a bit. This could be tough. Well, lots of jungle. really much up there. Take a peek up there maybe. Okay, there's some good stuff up there, yeah.
Willem! Nice to meet you, dude. The man who moves a mountain begins by carrying away small stones. Zero comma start is always awkward, but yeah. With double agriculture resource and starting with agriculture, it's okay. Oh, and he's right there. All right. I wouldn't mind going here just to get some of these dyes a little later. And I can share my rice. Oh. Nice. Alright, we'll try and get down here and fuck past the barb arches. Also up here could be challenging. Ah, uh, one less food, one turn earlier, or one more food, one turn later. that quarter we should be okay okay where am i gonna settle i got here the stupid clam the river is probably a good thing to get to if willem okay looks like there's nobody else yet there could be somebody up there yeah we don't know It's actually all fog busted. I can go one north. Like, I can go, like, right here. Cover a lot of tiles up there. So, there wasn't anyone when I was here. Then I moved here. Like, I could have gone here. But then I can move back. I mean, they shouldn't be... Yeah, they should be okay. I think. I'm gonna get a guy up here, maybe. Hopefully the dudes up here Willem deals with. Um, let's actually get a guy out, maybe. We have so much food. I kind of need to get warriors out, though, and bug bust a bit. So, the thing is... This is 6 food per turn once it's improved, which means 18 food over 3 turns, which means I want to get to 4 food before that's improved, and then I can just work hammers and then grow in 3. Good. So now we just do this until the corn is finished, and we can like pump out a few guys. It's quite important, but this whole area is just about fog busted. Gotta worry about up here still, try and get to that hill. Might be difficult. Because there's no more land down here. Might be fish, but what can you do? Good job, Willem. He got us a religion. I'm gonna try and get to that hill. It's a little bit risky. I could go through the forests. I don't know. Okay, that's looking increasingly safer. to the hill. Well, 
wonder if I should do the same thing. Improved in three turns. We're gonna be at nine food per turn when we whip that, which means we can get 18 in two turns, which means yeah, it's a while away. No, it's just gonna grow so freaking fast. I don't know. Let's do like that, I guess. Get some guys out. Okay. Fully fortified on a hill across the river. I set my promotion to heal from this, maybe. Gonna be uh, 11. Then it finishes next turn, I think. No. Trying to grow in one, or in two rather. This will put me at. Let's see, we're gonna be at nine. We want to get to fifteen food this turn. We can only do that like this. I want to get the guy out. Though. That's the thing. I think. No, it's fine. Let's just grow. Shop. Oh, this guy's gaming, dude. He's killed a lion, a warrior, and an archer. A young man killed in battle to lie mangled by the bronze spear. In his death, all things appear fair. Yeah, it's actually gaming, man. Wow. I think fishing for the fish. Makes sense. Just gotta worry about this side. No, oh, Bob City, that's kind of good. Wonder if I should reposition this guy. I'm sure there's a few pricks walking around up here. Okay, I think we can get one more before we get to size 4. <sighs> I think I'll go here first. Because I can take that. And we'll have our seafood. We won't have animal husbandry for a while. Do I want to go Great Lighthouse? So I could. I can put one here. Which will be four coastal cities, which is enough. So I don't know what Willem's going to do, but I don't think Willem is going to take these coastal spots for a long time. So where the hell's my copper? I don't have copper. Does that mean I go archery? No, I think that means I just defend with warriors and game. We need to chop like a bastard. I think I chop, chop. Chop away the forest. Well, it's my defensive terrain against barbs, so I don't know. Uh, chop. Chop. Mind that one. Bit safer here. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, chopping here is kind of good right now because they will interrupt me later, possibly. Oh, we have a warrior. That's good. That's very good. He can't harm anyone. Keep that in mind and get a guy like up there and then we should be fine. How about growing? How about just getting the settler out? How about just a settler now? Get him out super quick.
Maybe just a quick settler. I've got to get up there, which is a bit awkward, but... Yeah, another warrior might be necessary. Could grow in two, but... I like this, I get the warrior out. Oh... Here. Fuck bust this a bit better. In theory, things up here should be going to Willem. Things over here are gonna go to me though. Could be right there. Fine, he's stopping archers from spawning, I'll let him be. Give a man a fish and you feed him. Yeah, this guy's day. getting kind of annoying. Though he's wounded, he's not too like dangerous. Yeah, okay, with two warriors we can make a push. Knock out this guy, it's about time. Ah, do I want to go to the Great Lighthouse again? Is that going to kill me? Well, I have a pretty good capital this time, theory. And I can like max overflow whip settlers into it as well. With all this food. Uh, I think I kind of should because my comments are so poor otherwise. Nine beakers a turn, dude. That's rough. Do that because we are chopping. Yeah, don't interrupt my chopping, dude. Okay, I'll promote for this one. I should win that. Yeah, working this for a bit of commerce. I lose one hammer again. Uh, I lose two hammers, I think, but... Kind of want to take a little bit faster than we are right now. I might improve the clam over the fish. Because that's just one hammer, essentially. I'm, I don't have a food problem. It's really just one hammer for settlers and workers. But an extra, well, it's just one extra commerce, I don't know, maybe. Uh, maybe you still go the fish. Hard to say. Oh, he didn't do it. Little bastard. Oh, I should be able to knock out that guy with this guy, in theory. I'll focus on defending this place. Dude, this guy is like one every fight without even getting scratched. Absolute giga-chad. Other than the archer, the first archer, I think every other fight he won without a scratch. Like, he's built differently, man. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I've kind of pushed my way up there. I'm covering a good amount of tiles now. It's just down here. But I might have time to 
be greedy and go for like another worker that would allow me to chop more and mine more. I need to think about commerce more than anything though right now. So yeah, maybe maybe I should road. I think I chop the worker, save. some amount of turns on this and at least two turns yeah so have two turns on the worker and um then i rode up the city and now we go slavery before i forget There's no reason to. Well, it's a forest hill. Uh, I'll just put the city down and see, I think. Best bonus is in the city, I think. Especially already being fortified here. I'm not paying unit costs. Yeah, I am, of course. DT things. DT things, dude. DT things. Okay. Thanks, Willem. I can get over here. That'll be super safe. It's technically possible bubs can appear here, but even if they do, they should be going for Willem. I think I'll do size 2 settler in here, work that forest, chop and whip it or something. Go for the great lighthouse in my capital. Yeah, chop will save three turns on this guy. Probably should give this idiot a city. He's attacked me, actually, a lot of times in the past. He's infamous for skipping rifling and building wonders while it goes to war, but he's also attacked me quite a few times. It can be a real prick if he feels like it. Like what I do is I go down here and take the defensive cover. It's just a better position. Oh, see what if he if he comes at me, I go across the river, and then my odds are much much better. Oh, I'm gonna lose this. Are you serious? 90%? Okay. It's kind of annoying. Let's hope that's going for Willem, not me. That wouldn't be fair if it ran past Willem to go to me. If it goes here, it's probably go it's gonna be going for me. If it goes into the shadows, it's going for Willem, in theory. Of course, I could be going whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, well. I mean, with that guy, if it's an emergency. This won't be connected with sailing, so. I rode this bastard up. I rode the jungle. Well, why not? Yeah, well, it'd be funny if I lost this. Shouldn't be possible on a hill. But when he gets screwed once, you kind of hope you don't get screwed a second time. He went into the shadows, should be going for him. But I, I think I get another warrior out just to be safe. Okay, plus two commerce. Gimme.
Oh, you damn bastard, you walked past Willem and went for me. What is your problem? Oh, you goddamn bastard, why? Why would you do that? You walked past him and went for me. That's not fair. That's not fair. That's so unfair. Why me? <laughs> Whip it next turn, get a bit more overflow that way. Start panic warrior production, I guess. Yeah, great. Here come more. Oh, and he's promoted. There must be a lot of land up here, dude. Like, a lot of land. And I'm feeling the brunt of it right now. Nice! Oh, what is that? Oh, no! No, dude. And where is this idiot going now? Oh, no. I'm in trouble. I'm in big, big trouble. That's not a safe bet that fight. I might lose my city, man. Cancer. Good. Yeah, they're here now. Start fortifying on that tile then. Keep pumping out warriors. Don't even have the chance to build a freaking work boat. And he went here. Okay. Actually, then go here. Okay, I got three guys. Wanted to chop the settler. I think I should. I can chop the other one for the warrior. A dune. Hold on, is that too many hammers? Masonry. Yeah, it might be. No, it's not. Oh, really? Oh, 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 where are you going, dude? It's not Willem's wall. Expand down here. I 
This one doesn't even do anything until I have animal husbandry. Um... I just mine. It's too early to chop. So mine mine and chop. And they're not coming now? They got scared by my fortification or what? Bastards. <laughs> okay. Mind podcasting. I don't know where I'd go this way. This is a bit dangerous. A bit sneak past me. I can get into the city in time though. Why are they coming at me now? What? They like chilled out or what? I'm gonna go explore down here, check for seafood. No, they don't feel like going for it for some reason. Ah! Yeah, if I go there, that gets ruined. So how do I do this then? Yeah, that does actually ruin the fish. Shit. Oh, man. I gotta go here. And the pig is just for the capital then. Free food for the stupid capital. Or I go here and get both. Could do that. Just get two stronger cities. I don't, I'm not sure about defending this direction though. That's pretty scary. Pretty scary stuff. Uh, but this is also pretty scary stuff. So, yeah, okay, we'll go down there. Not sure how I get all the way down there, but... Hmm. Maths build warriors, I guess. Go warrior, you know what you have to do, then I'll probably whip a worker in there or something. Uh, are they going to let me chop here? I don't know if they're going to let me chop here. I'll try. Oh, I've got my border popping, they're nowhere to be seen now. Oh, nice, Willem. I'll swap to that uh, next turn once I get the settler out. Oops. Should be able to pump out the great one.
I think I like this. I mean, I could split it into two cities, but you got to build a monument and wait an eternity for that. Also, it looks like we're semi-isolated. Which is kind of cool, actually. Something a bit different, yeah. Okay, well, I'm culture here, so he's fog-busting the north, which is quite nice for me. I think the barbs have left me alone for now. I think I need mysticism for some freaking culture in here. Although, what's the rush? Well, the rush is I'm gonna lose those tiles and lose everything eventually. Kind of need to start building culture, I can't just delay it forever. I'm gonna like double chop this and get a huge chunk of the great one now. Okay, we have to. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what? It is from their foes, not their friends, that cities learn the lesson of building high walls. Ah, well, I'll try and get up there, I guess. It's better than sitting around here. Istanbul. That's <laughs> nearly too much overflow, but it's not, it's not, it's fine. This guy can chop what's left in here. 14 turns, that's pretty good actually. I want to focus on development here and get like a boat. Do I dare to go one more further up? Don't know if I do. Maybe not yet. Yeah, they've like really mellowed out now suddenly. Crazy, isn't it? Almost rather just do that. It's pretty pathetic working that tile, but it's technically three hammers. <laughs> Although this might be better. That gives me technically three hammers and a commerce. Need to mine on that one. I don't know, should I spam out settlers yet? I'm gonna have to break lighthouse pretty soon. It's gonna take so long to get that guy's problem. I think I should get a worker, improve the tile, and then we can build settlers in there with ease with a mine here. It'd be so much faster. Or even just farm that and mine that, and then you can probably like 12 turn, 10 turn settlers there. Could also consider growing this in three pop whipping a settler, possibly. too much. We lost 190%, but more importantly, we've won a lot of 50-50s that 
in the past, pretty recently in fact, they love to screw me on. He's fuck busting that, I'm fuck busting all that, my border's fuck busting that, we can go here. We might just be barb free now. Yeah, I'm fuck busting this, he's fuck busting these. Yeah, I think that's it. We're actually safe. Nice. Quick boat there. We've just got to worry about the north, so we, we push up with everyone. We, we push together, guys. Also, that goes Giga Chad. A Barb City blocking him in, that's quite nice for me. Whip that worker as soon as we can. Okay, we, we're actually like vibing now, unless he attacks me. Cower before the might of my archer. Alright, I will. As long as he don't attack me, dude. I don't want to go there and grab this good land. I gotta gift him some crap. I mean, I'll let him settle this crap up there. Maybe that's what I whip in here. I whip the gift. Oh, right, so let's check this. How crazy do I have to go to actually whip a freaking settler? Um, yeah, it's gotta be like that kind of. I can't even work any hammers, dude. I can't even do that. Well, I can. I can do that. Get nine hammers into the settler. Yeah, maybe I'll do that like this turn and then grow and whip it the following turn. Because imperialistic, each whip, each population is 45 hammers. I think it's worth it though. Whip down to size 3. Grow back to size 4 and just work the two mines and very slowly grow back. I'll whip this guy, I might whip that guy too, and then I might swap into his religion. Make him like me a bit. Because he's not a... not the most friendly guy ever. Oh, nice. That's really helpful. That's really, really helpful. I think I can do that. That means... Alright, where is that bastard archer? Yeah, we're actually just barb free. Wow. Just like that. How about that, then? Get this mysticism in time for this guy, unfortunately. Oh, I've got religion actually. What am I what am I talking about? I don't need a monument. I've got religion there. I've got pottery or something. <clears throat> so we're we gonna go for a double astronomy bulb, I think. And then maybe cannon him or something, or cannon someone else. See how big he gets and how the other AI are doing. He'll likely go alphabet, might be able to trade something for that. Don't think he's met anyone else, he's just pumped the points on me like crazy because he's a prick. Bam, 40 overflow. And... We can make that even more. Don't think I really need to mine that. Seems like a waste of time. I think if I settle that, I can like delete one of these guys or whatever. I kind of have to. Oh, my worker is fog busting that one. Might be able to go here. I think I can. Right. We also got to think about Barb Galley, so I'm going to fog bust the coast pretty soon. Is it time to connect health? No, I think it's time to improve this city. Well, if I read this, I can get to there one turn faster. It also helps. Yeah. Yeah. Saves like. So many worker turns if you think about it, because it's a worker turn to go on the hill. It's two worker turns to ride this. Um, but I'm getting the road done now, and it saves me a turn. So I'm getting three worker turns for like one worker turn right now, essentially. It's too good to pass up, I think. We've kind of killed them off pretty much. Uh, 
Uh, this will be the gift. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'll give him some piece of crap, like, way up here. To put the warrior here in the middle and just fog bust everything and then get this guy to the coast is what I need to do. Do I bother building a mine? It would be good for the granary. Also kind of need a border pop in here for that. So until then, the mine is like the next best tile to work. finish it like that. Maybe I should go here and chop actually, and that'll finish it in like four turns. Gaming! Surely there can't be anyone right there, yeah? yeah. So that's an eligible settle, so that should be two. Try and get over there. Crank out the settlers in Adurin with Imperialistic. Okay, so you fuck us there. You go get the coast. That's it. No Bob Galley crap in that direction. Chop the lighthouse. Mind that bastard. Mind that bastard. Our commerce really sucks, but it'll improve. Got my border pop. Let's just quickly check this. No, nope, it's fine. I grow. Don't think I'll ever finish the warrior though. Now we can check here. Okay. Come on, don't build it. I'm kind of cutting it a bit late. It's not too late though. I've got way later on like a mortal, but this is Didi. Next turn we get it. Just don't screw me by one turn, please, please. Okay, 100% chance he can't be plotting, and I'm about to make him pleased, so the chance of him plotting will be minimal. Wow, my comments really sucks. I should get that next to him, right? Yeah, just barely actually, wow, okay. Yeah, production kind of sucks. It's the chops that are carrying me. Enjoy, it's a complete piece of crap, unhealthy. Yeah, you, you enjoy that, man. That also helps fog bust this crap for me as well a bit, which is even better. That's wonderful. Now I freely, I build a freaking settler in here, in fact. Working the mine and the clam, we chop it out. We're just going to expand like a complete nut job, like a complete animal. I think it's time we save some money too. Am I paying unit supply? No, just unit cost. And essentially extremely low commerce. But we're going to be able to grow this bastard up next turn and it's going to improve dramatically in a moment. It's going to improve even more once we get open borders. How about open borders, man? No? But, I can two-turn this prick. Start on a boat. No, like foods. 
you build settler like that. Gonna make the most out of my imperialistic trait now. Yeah, we chop this and then build a cottage there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, nobody there. Great. I go here next because that's claiming a big amount of land, and then I could probably put one here actually. Could work the floodplain. Could work a bunch of cottages, and it can use that because this guy has that. Remember. We might want one single farm here, but no, we can farm from the capital, maybe. What I want is like a cottage right there, in fact. <clears throat> so you're gonna go to size two and then bam. Hey, look at that, the miners better hammers than the rice, it's kinda of funny. Should actually crank out the settlers pretty fast once it has access to the Mine and rice, though. And yeah, we grabbed a bit of the resources, because I really don't have many resources. But I've got something at least. He might get this one long term, but I should be able to hold that one when I get a library in here and stuff. Speaking of granaries and libraries, maybe I want to, like, build a farm here. But I think just get the settler out first. We could actually chop the settler. I probably should do that with imperialistic. It's better and stuff. Grab this one, it's not much, but it's on the coast, it could work some cottages which will grow long term, should be worth it. Maybe I'll cottage that in advance. Hard to say. Let's nice have Willem as my neighbour instead of Shaka. <clears throat> I don't know what to do with this worker though. Grassland cottages are pretty underwhelming. Maybe I'll just go chop this settler some more. Oh, it's 10 turns. It's going to be chopped down to 7 turns. But we could make that 4 turns if we could chop here. Yeah, I don't know about working cottages. I'd rather just work the coast for a while. Cottage the shareable stuff a bit later, but... But yeah, okay, there is some stuff up here. Could put a settler all the way up there, and probably keep that. That would be a good spot. Pretty ambitious, but... It's an idea. I think he'll beat me to that, because I'm not really going to rush for something crazy like that. I think I secure the... this stuff. Pretty good on resources. I'm gonna have religion. I'm gonna have good health. I mean, I have five different health resources in my capital, which two of are double health, so I've got like seven health resources. Seven health. Um, so we might be okay. Yeah, he doesn't even have clam. I could gift him the clam. Him like me. Hath not the potter power over the clay to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? It's a lot of spice. It would be a really good spot for like trading stuff around. It would really help me long, long term. It's a great spot post iron working too. Do I go animal husbandry for one damn pig? I think I got mysticism and get a border pop in here if I do go up there. I kind of want to go for that dude. There is the danger of a barbax chopping me up there, but... So no, man. And we'll, well, we need riding first, because he's not taking riding for some reason. He's being an idiot. And libraries and stuff would be very helpful. I'm going to grow this to the happy cap and then build settlers, working the two mines and the three high commerce tiles. I think that'll be pretty good. Wow, there's so much land. Holy crap. I'm kind of scared. The barbs. 
Probably a bunch of spears and axes wandering around now. Yikes. Yeah, you kind of need archery if you're going to go up there as a thing or some sort of defense. I could go animal husbandry. Maybe find horses, which could be okay. Should have horses somewhere down here. This is a bit too barren. Man, my commerce sucks. Because someone isn't opening borders. I only have one coastal city as well. It's not, not two coastal cities. I'm not getting my full trade rounds. Willem, go riding, please. Well, that guy can go... Well, I might lose this to Willem if I wait too long. Is the thing. I don't really want to go up there, man, but... Dunno. I think I've got to claim this first. I think I got to... It should pay off. I think I'll like farm one tile. I'll send that guy, that guy down here, but this, this will block him off. Give me all this. This, this is an amazing city long term, especially like Levy, holy crap man. I don't have to settle that until he's on his way, actually. I can just park the settler there. Because that definitely won't help my economy. I'll tell you that right now. I'll just delay that for a little bit. Now, a road here would help me get the settler there faster, so I guess I'll do that. Settler can go whoop, whoop, bam, bam. Otherwise, he has to stop right before the hills and, yeah, take an extra turn. Oh, that would be a nice spot. All oh, right, I never went in his religion. Uh, probably should do that. I can explore a bit. Come on, did you have to go writing eventually? Oh, you did. What the hell? I'm blind. Holy crap. Ah! Okay, I go animal husbandry first. Oh, he went there. Okay. Big shock. I might still get something over here, though. It's not out of the question. I might go for it. Go on a freaking expedition, man. You gotta stay right there for the... for this damn tile right here. Stone? Stone and coast? Alright, go here. Guess I should see what's up there too.
Oh, we might need to go for happiness here. No, we're gonna have health issues. That's not where we need Hinduism. We need Hinduism here, Willem. Copper. So he went here. I think I get the pig if I go here. We get like everything if I go right here. There's no... I'm kind of invalidating all the other city spots by going there. Need more warriors up there. I should probably go for it now, though, if I'm going to go up there. I think I'll whip here. <clears throat> I'm going to delay the whip one turn to get the boat done for some help or food. I think we're going to go up here. I think we're going to do it. It's quite an expedition. We're going to go for it. Go on an adventure. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and oh. the flocks of thy sheep. Well, I may have to go there then. Okay, well, a marcher, fuck busting. It's good. Get two warriors up there, then I'll feel a bit better about the situation there. I'm gonna need a worker because this will be cut off by the stupid Barb City. If I whip now, I've got seven overflow plus. I don't know how much. Plus, 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 like. Fifteen, twenty ish. Yeah, I'll probably finish this anyway. Plus 10, really? Oh, because you're working the wrong piles. Plus 16. Yeah, the boat definitely finishes with that. Also. Got the cottages up. Things are going to improve now. Yeah, this granary just finishes naturally without being whipped, so I'm okay with that. I kind of need a farm. Farm the grass first so the granary doesn't take an eternity to finish. Willem fog busting is kind of helping out. There's just one freaking tile here, but I can risk it for now, I think. Do you want to go on the expedition? I think you should. And you go down here. Can we grow to size four and two pop with a worker? Oh, no, do that. Don't really know if it's worth it. If I get the pig, 
I don't think his culture is going to be too crazy. Like, creative gives you a nice initial boost, but long term it's only two extra culture a turn. So, like, we should both hit um, the same culture relatively at the same time. I might want to go Monument first there, though. Or just get writing first. Maybe just get writing. I really need a monument. Here's the thing. Let's, let's get this first. Take the fish, the clam. We'll get another one out in a bit. But realistically, I have so much food. I think I'd just rather the extra commerce. Although I've technically been working both, so maybe that was a dumb idea. Yeah, maybe that was a dumb idea. Oh well. We'll whip a worker in, in a moment and fix it. That's okay. It probably was a dumb idea, but I don't care. <clears throat> but also go here. And he might be crazy enough to put one there, though. Let's check the coast for seafood. A bit better before we make a decision. Nature herself has imprinted on the minds of all the idea of God. But on this copper there, could just relax and go here. And who cares about the stone? I mean, this one, I don't know, it should get the peak eventually, but there's no guarantee. You know how much culture they pump out. But I could also just go here. Wanted the spices for them. You're not settling here, are you? Oh, no, you're not. Oh. Well, I don't see a settler, so let's just wander around and have a look. <laughs> Expedition team. Yeah, that's not going to work. This hit on the way, idiot. Either way, we need to start rooting like here. It's Bob City up there. Kind of blocked in. No, he's not. He's got eight cities. He's pretty big, actually. Can I delete this guy? Uh, I could, but I think he'll be needed for happiness. And I'm not even paying much. Okay, maybe we don't whip the whip anything here. We just wait for a library. That's probably the important one. I'm actually getting a great merchant first. 
a bit late on my great people. We might not be able to do academy, we just do merchant money and then double bowl Vastro, but I'm philosophical, who knows, man. I'm pretty late on my granaries and lighthouses though, because I am expanding like a bastard. I mean, I've got like six cities, nearly 1000 BC pretty much, if you count this guy who's wandering around. And I gifted one, and I built the great lighthouse. So that's basically seven settlers by 1000 BC and building a great lighthouse. That's imperialistic for you. Pretty good trait. Got great value out of it this playthrough. Oh, we can actually grow for a bit. I think we should whip and then chop the granary. Yeah, he's eyeing off this spot too. Willem, Willem says we should go here. Oh, if I go here, I can also go here. Ooh. 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 Oh. Yeah, why don't I just settle both? I can go here, and I can go here. Yeah. Yeah! So I think we just whip this like a animal. Whip a settler into the boat yet again. This time it should finish the boat. <clears throat> Screw the library, dude. Claiming land is more important, I think. I can get like a lot of cities by being a prick like this. Yeah, nine overflow. Plus, whatever I'm working this turn, 14, that easily finishes the boat. I think another farm isn't a bad thing to get, though, for to kickstart ourselves here a bit. Anyway, we don't have to settle this now. We just have to watch for him to be coming over here. Any fish there? No. And I've got to settle that still. Crap, he might beat me to that. Oh, man. I need, I need settlers. I need settlers. Ah! I want it all, Willem. It's mine. Okay, there's no buff there, good. Do the Emilibus. Yeah, I won't be connected, it'll kill my economy. Distance maintenance. Not connected unless I build the road. Right, which granary are we chopping? This one actually does not need to be chopped. That one will be two pop whipped. It could also be one pop whipped if I chop now, but this one is lacking development. I think I go this one. I think we go granary into both. I think you. We chop into Samsung maybe and try and one pop whip it. Which we can probably just do. Yeah, when we hit size 2. This is so funny. It's sending the settlers way over here. <laughs> the uh, Eastern Ottoman Empire, you see. We're expanding. Suleiman the Magnificent is being pretty magnificent. So, well, that's what he was officially called in history, and I think we're living up to it. Suleiman the Magnificent. Yeah, that's right. Right, where are you going? Gotta make sure you don't go stupid places and get killed by barbs. This will be gorgeous land later once it all gets cottaged. 
Eight turns, dude. Eight turns. Then we get the boat thing and then yeah. The then yeah. Okay, we could whip the granary. Kinda wanna whip a worker. But maybe I'll die. Let's do that and maybe then get a worker after. Have some overflow, can work the hammer. True glory consists in doing what deserves to be written, in writing what deserves to be read. Do, 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 do. Farm for now. We're gonna cottage over it a bit later, I think. I've, I've got to grow and get the granaries and libraries up, and then we cottage spam. Who needs a granary when your food bar looks like this? <laughs> we don't need no granary here, dude. We got library, dude. <laughs> Holy cow. Still don't have my pick. No, that makes it three turns. We want two turns. Does that really only save one turn on that damn worker? It really does only save. Yeah, that's not worth it. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we got to catch up on workers a bit. We're still vibing with like three workers. I, I need to make two, I think. How do I do it in here though? I need a worker and I still need a settler there. Yeah, just farms to speed up everything a bit, and then we cottage over later. Could even whip this guy. That might be worth it, actually, because I do have a granary there. Yeah, I think we whip this guy. But can I whip it next turn? Yes. Okay, this should be connected officially now. It did not make me money. It um, made me bankrupt, in fact, because it's domestic routes. But we don't care. Okay, and the stone and then get the monument out, yeah. I'll probably be a bit late to astronomy, but I don't care. Um, grabbing land, dude, I'm grabbing land. Okay, five turns we can whip the granary and then this place is vibing. Five turns, five turn. I'd like that to be one turn faster. Can't really do much about that though. I think I will pop orders, I will take that, then he'll pop orders again and probably take it slowly, then when I pop orders again I keep it. If I get a library here though, I don't think he'll get this off me. The pig would really be nice. I don't even have to do anything. Chop that in a little bit. Finish the granary. Might do that actually. So just like work the forest for a few turns. 
and then yeah, finished like that. Okay, we can't really grow here, so let's just spam out another settler. Merchant will get us going. Probably go to Monarchy. Grow these bastards. He's not teching too well. He took forever to get writing. And... He doesn't have Monarchy yet, so he's not really doing that impressive. I'm not doing that great either. I haven't even started on my great scientists yet for astronomy, which is kind of a concern. Although, to be honest, we have until turn 100 to do that. So I've got a bit of time. I remember this because 800 AD is the time we want astronomy. Like, you really don't want it later than 800 AD on DT. And that's turn 150. So about... And now, usually without philosophical, it takes 17, then 30... something. 17, then... 35 or something and then 51 turns or something something like that to get your scientists out um, so what does that mean that's 51 turns for three scientists usually now I have to count one of them as a merchant in this case but after Uh, it's gonna be 17 and then it's gonna be 25 turns for my two scientists, I think. So really, I don't need to run scientists until turn 100 and like 20 something, technically, because I'm philosophical, like how good is that? Obviously we don't want to delay it that long, and if we can run them early enough we could maybe get another one out. 33 turns, I think, for three scientists. 17, 25, then 33 or whatever, something like that. With philosophical, I can probably still get three scientists out. God, philosophical is such a good trick. It's actually like S tier in isolation, like it's old semi iso. Whenever you're doing the double astro bulb thing, it's actually just like an S tier trait. I think I let this guy deal with these three cities because he's that much of a chat, he can do that. I'm gonna go over here and help out in that capital. I think Willem did some stupid stuff, so he went Polytheism right at the start. Mysticism, Polytheism, but 16 turns or something. And then he went... He could have gone some stupid stuff like Masonry. Who knows, man. I think I'll point Whip it. It kind of needs to chill a bit. Just slow build it in four and put him over there. I guess I'll start going for Monarchy. Probably still whip this. It's an interesting idea. I think the money's going to be very helpful for me, though. This is probably not worth it until I have more workers ready up here. I did that for one turn. His empire is still covered in jungle, so he's not doing that great. <clears throat> I 
Meditation brings wisdom. Lack of meditation leaves ignorance. Know well what leads you forward and what holds you back. See, now we suddenly have food, so I think it's quite a fun. Gems. Yeah, jungle gems at 600 BC. That's not very impressive, Willem. What are you doing, dude? Yeah, gems are still buried in jungle. Bro? What are you doing? We need a warrior there too. I need so much stuff, man. I think I creep up with the library. I kind of need this worker to go on the Northern Expedition mission. Also, kind of need Hogbuster. You know, Barbax could appear up there. That's scary to think of. Screw the lighthouse. We got library. Work that and then run, guys, I think. We can grow you a turn faster. Let's do that. Okay, we're doing everything we can. That's good. Amsterdam should, in theory, give me the best trade value. Maybe. Oh, he's got a full calendar start. Nice, dude. Yeah, we'll whip this with some overflow into the lighthouse. I could probably, like, chop out that guy. Put the pig up, whatever that means. Really wish I could share this food, but there's a horse right here. Do I settle on the horse? Maybe I should, just because there's too much freaking food here, man. Maybe I do settle the damn horse. Because holy cow. Bob Galley. It's too much food for the capital. <laughs> Could put a city there just to work the pig later. It's so much freaking food though. Yeah, I kind of think I should settle the horse. I mean, I'm not getting this for a long, long time. So yeah, maybe, maybe just on the horse and make use of that corn. I don't need the corn. I mean, look how fast I'm growing without working the corn. It's ridiculous how fast I'm growing. Not sure what's happening. Well, you know what he's doing? He's spamming the spice slider. He's spamming the spy points. And that's obviously killing his economy. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. That's a pretty the pathetic Lord amount of money. Upon you and give you peace. I settled on gems as well, by the way. Okay. Well, when he gets iron working, I'll be able to trade for gems for happiness. But he hasn't made it to iron working yet. Doesn't cost much, that one. I should make good money with the cottages and stuff. Can I do anything with the stone? No, nah, anyway. Oh, we got the religion here, that's kind of nice. Well, if we do this, we can two-pop whip it in a bit, but I think I want to grow. Yeah, we can grow and then whip this maybe into a worker or something. We've got to start running scientists. Uh, we'll be doing that in a moment here. Kind of need to chop it, or we'll just whip it in four. Oh, wow, my happiness. Yeah. It's a bit of an issue. I could go monastery now. 
It's not going to really make missionaries very easily, is it, that one? No, we kind of need hammers. If I do this for three turns, I can whip it in three. In fact, why don't I do that? Give these guys a bit more food in a moment. This, this island is so stacked, by the way. Look at that. Holy cow. I mean, most of it is Willems, but wow. Four spice, four sugar, four dye, two banana, three banana. Wow. Wow. Multiple corn, rice, and wheat as well. Like, holy cow. Also the wheat. Yeah, two health. That kind of is worth it, actually. We shouldn't have issues growing once we get to monarchy. I should really just cash this idiot in... And take like 900 or whatever. Next turn. I'm not sure what he's doing. What, what is he doing? It's still a despot. Do I, I heard his demographic, so he's obviously out teching me. But a lot of that's probably culture too, to be fair. I don't think he's teching that impressive. Nine hundred is nothing to sneeze at. That's gonna help me. Just go for it, dude. I think you just go for it. And now we go for the wheat. I think I should get an emergency warrior out. I can build chariots too. Chariot all. Give me a chance of poaching that, in fact. <clears throat> We could do some max overflow whipping. That's my last city. What I need is a worker. Let's max overflow whip this library into a worker. Yeah, still grow. I think I still gain a bit of food per turn. Yeah, it's probably still valuable. Although, no, why did we not work the forest? I gotta work the forest like an idiot so I can whip that. It's kind of important. Need cottages up there. Yeah, emergency chariot in case the archers do something. You never know. It's good to be safe. This is... Oh man, we're going to have happiness issues everywhere. Oh. oh no, 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 dude. Damn it. God damn it. Ah! Need warriors, and I need monarchy. Okay, bam! Bam! This needs a... Oh no, it'll be connected to that. Well, the coast, so it's fine. Sugar, he got calendar. He got calendar. He got calendar. Dum 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 Kill me, guys. Just wait five turns before you do that. Keep going. We're actually fine. Our happiness situation is okay now. Row two. Yeah, twelve beakers. It's gonna, it's gonna be bouncing up now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice overflow there. We can two turn it. Let's two turn it.
he must have iron working. Oh no, 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 he went calendar before iron working. Oh no, he's got iron working. Okay, so he'll give me dire, he'll give me gems soon. We'll take back the health when he does that, and yeah. Should get luxurious resources bonus. And he's gonna get to friendly pretty soon, I think. Yeah. I really can't delay this much longer. Scientists there. We've got scientists. Maybe not there. I might get another merchant. Well, if I do, then no academy. If I get a scientist out of here, it's the academy. If I don't, it's some... Uh, and it's a merchant. Well, it's a trade mission. I've run scientists in two other spots, like here and here, maybe. And because I'm philosophical, I actually don't have to do it just yet. I might. I want to get the lighthouse. It's definitely something I want to do. We'll go chop it. Oh, I need to chop. Yeah, I'll just leave it like that for now then. I need more workers, like, realistically. I've still got to build workers. <clears throat> can maybe run guides in here after we get to size 5 or something. His economy is really gonna boom now that he got calendar. Yeah, look at that, wow. It would be nice to take that. Maybe I should have gone cut at laws and not meditation. Cut at laws would help me generate the people. Although I'm philosophical, I don't think it matters too much. I got so much food. It's really just the capital though, the other cities aren't that high on food. So maybe it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. And I probably want to stay in slavery and develop these cities, so. Yeah, I think it's fine. Now, uh, what does ironworking do for me? Ironworking gets me the pig, technically. He's friendly! Yes, Willem! Before he even got ironworking, I got him the friendly. Or well, pretty close, anyway. But we should be getting gems in a moment. Happy Willem is a good Willem. Maybe I should just make missionaries here, screw the freaking granary. But okay, it might be time for a break before I start playing too sloppily. Yeah, we're still gonna get all the way to optics, but hey, I've got a lot of money at least, so it can't be that bad. And our beakers are gonna gradually increase as we work more and more cottages, because this land is starting to develop now. Cottages growing in here. This land is kind of very questionable, but it makes me stronger, at least long term. And I think I can afford it due to the Great Lighthouse. Even with domestic trade routes, it's not too bad. And... Yeah, claim some resources I don't have. Double copper, actually. Like, I'll be able to trade that to Willem and other people. There is, like, a lot of value in just grabbing resources. Sometimes it doesn't outweigh the cost of it. But sometimes it does. Because I could, once I get astronomy, I'm going to be able to sell this crap for money overseas. So the more crap I get now, the better it'll be later. But wow, our continent is stacked. Holy crap. I've got to take out Willem, man. That would be the dream. Do want to get that lighthouse? 
I just work this for three turns, I can chop the rest of them. I need cottages to be fair, so that's not the dumbest idea. Yeah, just go whoop, whoop, chop. Chop and ban. And then, yeah, I think we farm down here later, maybe. We'll see. Still gotta build something there. Yeah, we're gonna whip these libraries, like, right now, in fact. What about growing to size 5 here? We could do that, and maybe we really should. Work more tiles. It's an extra cottage. Yeah, let's do it. It gets to be the lighthouse as well. Alright. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.